People always ask, do you have a favorite photo from the fair? And it's, it's like saying, who's your favorite child? It's, you know, it's impossible to say that I have a favorite, but there are a few that kind of stand out for a variety of reasons. My name is Kevin Brown. I'm a commercial photographer here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, I've shot uh, for a good variety of corporate and agency clients. The State Fair of Texas has been a longtime client. This will be the 17th year that I've shot for the fair. And uh, I'm pleased to say that this year they're going to have an exhibit uh, showcasing some of my work at the fair. It seemed like I was destined to become a photographer. There was never a question that I can remember of wanting to ever do anything else. My father was um, on staff at, at Channel 8 many years ago, and so I had an early introduction to photography and video. Um, at that time, when I was about five is when he worked there. So I just always had an interest in it, and there was never a question that that's what I wanted to do. When I got to be about 10 years old, my dad put in a dark room, and so that was another uh, way that I was exposed to photography at an early age. And then by the time I was 15, I was on staff at a small town newspaper after we, we changed locations and just never looked back. So in 1985, I, I went to work uh, with my uncle at a video production company, and one of his clients was the State Fair of Texas. So beginning in 1985 and up through the time that I left there in 2007, um, I was on staff with him. And so for uh, in 2002, I actually approached the fair after having done all this video work for the fair. I approached them about shooting still photography, um, and they said, that's, that sounds like an interesting idea. We've got somebody that we use right now, but you know we'll keep you in mind, and uh, if something happens down the line, we'll let you know. Well, about a year later, the person that was providing their still photography for the fair um, retired. And so they came back to me and said, are you still interested in, in doing some photo work for the fair? I said, absolutely. They said, put together a proposal. So I did. and. Um, at that time, digital photography was just sort of coming into prominence, so I proposed shooting everything digitally, which they had never had before, and uh, that was attractive to them. Um, and so I shot in 2003 for the first time, stills for the fair in digital, which they had been done on slide transparency film, I think in the years prior to that. And so um, each year I'm, I'm back for a number of days during the run of the fair and just try to capture as much as I can of the things that are of interest to them that they need to pr use to promote upcoming fairs and so forth. And um, so this will be uh, the 17th consecutive year that I've done work for the fair. But that's essentially how it came to be. You know, I, I can shoot a thousand to two thousand photos a day depending on if I'm shooting Texas OU that would be a high image count day just because of the sports action. So some days are, are more than others, but um, it's usually lands somewhere in the 1,000 to 2,000, maybe 2,500 shots per fair visit per day. So a couple of years ago, the fair mentioned to me that they would like to maybe do an exhibit showcasing some of the images that I'd shot over the years. And so this year with the theme of the fair being celebrating Texas creativity, it seemed like a good fit for there to be an exhibit for photography. So with the, uh, the great facility, uh, the new Briscoe Carpenter Livestock Center has a great lobby space that's nicely lit, big you know, high ceilings. Seemed like a good place to put together an exhibit. So the fair and I worked together to kind of curate some images and, and, and come to a, a consensus on some shots that would best showcase my work and a, a broad spectrum of what's available visually at the fair because there's such a broad variety of, of you know, subjects that are, that are there. Actually, the first year that I shot photos for the fair in 03, um, they had a, the World Championship corn dog eating contest and there was a guy that won that and just um, sort of on his own, he just picked up these corny dogs and displayed them after he won the uh, the contest and I snapped a couple of shots and it's just corny dogs are so synonymous with the fair he's wearing a yellow shirt and it just everything kind of came together it's just a quick shot but that was one of my favorite images from that first year other images that are favorites um, there's there's a, a shot of big Tex in a yellow shirt um, that you don't see too often big Tex in a yellow shirt it's typically red or blue or white and one year the 
Public Relations Director Nancy Wiley said, I think we should have Big Tex in a yellow shirt. So they dressed him in yellow and I think it's one of the best looks that he's ever had. Um, I went up on a scissor lift or a boom lift and got right up in his face uh, and shot with a wide lens. So it's a, a perspective that fairgoers don't have an opportunity to take with their cameras as, as visitors of the fair. It's one of the, you know, the luxuries of being sort of the uh, official photographer of the fair, of having the opportunity to get some of those vantage points that you don't otherwise have an opportunity to, to shoot. You know, one of the challenges in shooting the fair every year is trying to keep it fresh. It's, it's, I, I tell folks it's a little bit like an author writing the same book every year because I have to essentially go back and shoot many of the same things year after year. And so, the, you know, the challenge is to keep it fresh, new and exciting. And so coming up with ways to achieve that can sometimes be rewarding when you get that shot that it's like, yeah, you know, we got something different. An example of that would be um, a shot at the Texas OU game where I shot with a tilt shift lens which makes all the players on the field, it looks like a, a toy, it looks like a miniature uh, football game and that's just a, a byproduct of using that particular equipment. Um, there's a shot that I, that I did of um, a group of kids with these chicken hats and holding these rubber chickens down on the midway. They're wearing blue Dallas Maverick shirts and the contrast of the yellow and the blue and just their expressions. It's just a fun shot. It was totally unstaged, unplanned. It was just, a, hey guys, spin around here. Look, let me get a quick shot. And it was fleeting. It was, you know, I shot two or three frames and, and that was it. But it's just a, a really fun you know, capture. And, and that's what's really exciting about shooting out here is the, the people. Um, the people represent the, the gold in, in terms of what you can, can capture because you never know who's going to come around the corner. With the expression on their face, the sheer joy that they have as they experience the fair, those are all things that make this a great place to, to shoot. The exhibit is at the uh, Briscoe Carpenter Livestock Center and it will be there daily during the run of the fair. It's, it's there 10 a.m. till close.